it up and will find his man there in Hayden Price, who's making his Spruce King debut as he dumps the puck in deep. Back on the end boards, Curley worked the puck off of May, but following up on that is Kylas Green, a pass ahead. Brennan Nelson working in left circle, back in front, scores! Unofficial second half of the season on the stretch drive to the playoffs. Austin Fraser right side now, it's Luca Primarano to the blue line. Kai Greaves left side, shot scores! It's Austin Fraser from the left point, just eight seconds into the power play, and he buries past the glove side of Caden Hamming, and it's a tie game, 1-1, with 11.21 to go here in this first period. Each as that puck's put up the right side, held on Norland, left wing feed just behind McDonald in the left circle. Hayes can't handle the puck at the left point, it's a shorthanded breakaway, Ty Gagno in alone, great stop by Caden Hamming! Fairly as that puck is sent ahead through center now by Prince George across the left wing side. McGregor Bennett back to the middle, drops off, and the shot side of the net, they score. A bouncing puck that was fortunate to find the Spruce Kings on that shot by Harrington. And at the side of the net, it's Jake Schneider who's able to poke it past the glove side of Caden Hamming. Schneider's got the marker, it's his 13th of the season. And we have Prince George with a lead, 2-1 the score for the Spruce Kings. Luciak back to the left point, may a drive, that was knocked down. Loose puck side of the net, cleared away from the front of the goal as Gagno got a piece of it. Up the boards, May holds it on, tried to slide a pass across, got it back again. Left circle, right side, Devlin middle, Luciak scores! Tic-tac-toe, what a passing play, finished off by Riley Lusiak, and the Warriors tie the game, it's 2-2. He's with it now, at center for McDonald. Works it back and across the blue line, down the left wing side, McDonald in the corner, around the boards, right wing, cut off by Austin Fraser to the blue line, Hayes holds it, top of the left circle, McDonald to the net, scores! With 1.16 to go in the second period, McDonald took the hit that drew the penalty, and he finds the back of the net with a power play goal. Ben McDonald's got the marker, his 12th goal of the season, and the Warriors have taken their lead back. It's 3-2. Hilditz tried to reverse it around and hit an awkward corner board and played back around below the goal line. Norlin up with that, eight seconds to go in the period. Bernadette ahead at center, trying to get by his man. Bernadette works in, left circle through the legs, put it to the goal stop, rebound, scores! A buzzer beater from Luke Devlin, and it's 4-2! Milliseconds before the buzzer went to end the second period. Luke Devlin on the rebound on Jake Bernadette's through the lane. Bouncing puck that will find the stick of Landon Hill. It's Surrey BC native playing his first game here with the Warriors tonight. Puck is lost back in the neutral ice. Gagno carries it back in. Down the left side. Cuts to the net. He scores. Ty Gagno with an absolute beauty as he got around a Warriors defender on the left side and tucked it inside the glove side post. Gagno's got his eighth of the year, and it's a one-goal game just like that. 4-3, West Kelowna with the lead. Luke Devlin and Jack Stockfish on the faceoff. Off the draw, it's put to the slot. Jaden Moriello, time in the right circle to clear. He got it past the defender, out to center. A race for it here to the left side. Eight seconds to go in the third. Stockfish will play it back in. Down to the right wing corner. Hilditch in the end boards. Lost the puck, loose to the side of the net. Devlin picks it up and the buzzer sounds. This one's over. The West Kelowna Warriors on Peachland Warriors. They pick up the win. 4-3 the final score. The Warriors hang on behind a 27 save performance from Caden Hamming. Three goals in the second period for West Kelowna helps them to a 4-3 victory over the Prince George Spruce Kings.